there's talk of bringing back Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man to the MCU, and there are several plausible ways to do it without leaving fans dissatisfied. Now, stick till the end because a big DCU shift is coming, which we're gonna soon explain, so stick around for that. Although Iron Man's death was a pivotal moment in the MCU, recent reports of the franchise facing challenges have sparked discussions about reviving the character. With the MCU dealing with flops and internal turmoil, Marvel is reportedly considering the return of significant characters like Iron Man. Variety's report delves into the MCU's crisis and suggests that bringing back Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man might be feasible, especially given the narrative flexibility offered by the multiverse saga. This saga introduces various ways for characters to reappear from alternate versions to identical variants. One intriguing possibility is Loki's newfound power, showcased in Season 2, Episode 5. Loki can now control time slipping, allow him to visit any timeline. This opens the door for Loki to interact with Tony Stark in a timeline where he's still alive and powerful. Another option is introducing a multiverse variant to replace the original Iron Man. This approach avoids diminishing Stark's sacrifice in Avengers Endgame and allows for a different version of Tony Stark to join the MCU, perhaps from a timeline where the Avengers failed to defeat Thanos. If Marvel is serious about bringing back Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, it might happen as part of an MCU reboot. A reboot would provide a clean slate, allowing old characters to return without much justification. However, if Iron Man returns, it's likely his role won't be as central, considering the rising excitement around the introduction of the X-Men in the MCU. One thing we all agree and want to see RDJ as a superior Iron variant, many MCU fans share a common desire, seeing Robert Downey Jr. return as Iron Man but taking on the role of a superior Iron Man variant, aka Anthony Edward Tony Stark. This version, darker and more ruthless, emerged in the comics post the Axis event, where a spell inverted Iron Man's morality, turning him into a greedy, manipulative tycoon, exploiting his fame and technology for personal gain. He also crafted a symbiotic suit that amplified his abilities but corrupted his mind. The appeal of RDJ portraying superior Iron Man lies in its potential to offer a refreshing departure from the heroic character that we've seen in previous movies. It poses a challenge to RDJ's acting skills, showcasing a different facet of his talent. Moreover, it promises to inject drama and conflict into the MCU, with superior Iron Man potentially becoming a major antagonist, clashing with other heroes and villains. Choosing superior Iron Man as RDJ's comeback role introduces themes of corruption, addiction and redemption, exploring how far a hero can deviate from the noble path. Importantly, it provides a means of reintegrating RDJ into the MCU without undermining his heroic sacrifice in Avengers Endgame. This could be achieved through a temporary or alternate reality scenario, allowing superior Iron Man to be eventually restored or defeated by his allies. The concept also stays true to the comics, paying homage to one of Iron Man's most controversial and memorable storylines. It opens the door to new elements and characters from the comics, such as the Extremist 3.0 virus and the Endosim armor. All in all, the prospect of RDJ embracing the superior Iron Man role not only aligns with fan desires, but also offers a compelling narrative twist for the MCU. Rolling the disc to another Earth 616 superhero, we find Dr. Brian Braddock, also known as Captain Britain. His journey began from the brink of death, evolving into the champion of the British Isles and its people. Endowed with mystical powers by the Amulet of Right from the legendary sorcerer Merlin and his daughter Roma, he became the protector of Earth-616 for the Captain Britain Corps. The interdimensional organization guards the Omniverse, fueled by energies from the other world, a realm created from the collective consciousness and will of the British people. In his comic adventures, Brian faced formidable foes such as Vixen, Hurricane and Mastermind Computer, Lord Hawk, Dr. Sin, the Highwayman, the Manipulator, the Lurker from Loch Ness, Nikon, the Black Baron and the Assassin Slaymaster. His popularity soared, especially after being believed killed in an air raid, making him a vigilante in the eyes of the police, notably Chief Inspector Di Thomas, who sought to unmask Captain Britain. Now, Marvel Studios' secret invasion might have discreetly given the MCU's Captain Britain a new origin story, 
While neither Brian Braddock nor his sister Betsy have been introduced in the MCU, their names have surfaced. Now, let's delve into the third reason you're here. Patty Jenkins submitted a script for Wonder Woman 3 to Warner Brothers, but the story details remain shrouded in mystery. Jenkins, willing to revisit the narrative, found it incompatible with the DCU's plans. Despite her efforts, the particular take on Wonder Woman seemed to face a roadblock. Additionally, Linda Carter, the iconic Wonder Woman from the 1970s series, was set to return as Amazon warrior Asteria, teased in Wonder Woman 1984's post credit scene. However, how Asteria fits into the story is yet to be unveiled. Initially, a Wonder Woman spin-off focusing on the Amazonians was announced, but with no recent updates, the cancellation of Wonder Woman 3 implies a stall in the original spin-off project. In a surprising twist, the DCU's Gods and Monsters slate revealed an HBO Max series named Paradise Lost, set in Themyscira and described by James Gunn as a Game of Thrones-style exploration of the all-female warrior society before Diana's time. Whether this is a reimagining of the initial spin-off or an entirely new venture remains unclear. Despite Wonder Woman 3's cancellation, fans can anticipate the hero's return in the new DCU. The question arises, will this mean a complete reboot for the character, or will Gal Gadot return? A recent DCU report indicates that none of the old Justice League members will reprise their roles in the new team iteration, hinting at a potential recasting for Wonder Woman. Now let's talk about the significant shift at DC Studios. James Gunn, the co-CEO, has set the stage for a unified DC universe across film, television, gaming and animation. Addressing the disconnection that has lingered in DC's cinematic endeavors, Gunn aims to create a seamless narrative where characters are consistently portrayed by the same actors, contributing to a cohesive and interconnected DCU. Gunn outlines a promising lineup of projects over the next year, starting with films that are set to lay the foundation for the ambitious 8-10 year plan coined Gods and Monsters. The first project under this banner is Creature Commandos, an animated series where characters seamlessly transition between animation and live action, maintaining the same actor for voice work. The narrative continues with Waller, a gripping story featuring Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. The pivotal project in this chapter is Superman Legacy, a true beginning for the DCU written by James Gunn himself. Scheduled for release on July 11, 2025, this promises to redefine Superman's legacy on the big screen. Concurrently, an HBO Max series titled Lanterns will explore the terrestrial adventures of Green Lanterns, Jon Stewart and Hal Jordan, akin to a true detective-style narrative with space cops safeguarding precinct Earth. Meanwhile, the HBO television series Paradise Lost delves into Themyscira, the birthplace of Wonder Woman, in a narrative reminiscent of Game of Thrones. Adding a touch of horror, Swamp Thing unfolds the dark origins of the monstrous Swamp Thing, serving as a standalone tale outside the traditional DCU, but contributing to the overarching narrative. Gunn emphasizes the uniqueness of each director's vision, valuing storytelling above all else. As a lifelong fan of the DC characters, Gunn sees this opportunity as a once-in-a-lifetime chance to deliver something truly different and exciting. With a commitment to authenticity and a promise to provide audiences with a fresh and distinctive narratives, Gunn invites viewers on a grand adventure into the world of DC. The future promises to be a captivating exploration of iconic characters and untold stories, making this a thrilling chapter for DC Studios.